Could there be some strange benefit to the intermingling of our different senses? An important clue to this riddle can be found in Heather Burke. Oh, I'm all right. This looks fantastic. Wow. Heather sees colored numbers arranged in three-dimensional space all around her. She has what is called a number line. I've got naught in front of me here, then I have naught to ten, and then ten to twenty in an L shape, then twenty to thirty, and that's all on a plane, then thirty to forty, which is above, forty to fifty, fifty to sixty, and so on in tens, all the way up to a hundred. And then the block repeats itself exactly up to two hundred, and so on in blocks all the way up to a thousand here. And then it carries on forever. Heather's number line suggests that synesthesia may have an extra dimension. The mechanism that links numbers to colors also seems to connect to the part of Heather's brain that produces a sense of space. Oh, yeah. Can I help you? Yeah. Um, can I have For one Heather, of those, then, please? This is an aspect of synesthesia with a real oh, practical rolls. benefit. Well, she has her own built-in calculator, one that comes in handy when she needs to be sure she's getting the correct change. Thank you very much. Cheers. This is difficult for me to imagine anyone else doing math in another way, as it probably is for you to work out how I do it with my visual thing, because it's the only way that I know. And she's not the only one with a number line. Despite his blindness, John Fullwood also sees numbers suspended in space. Days of the week, months of the year, even years themselves are all around him. The year of his birth occupies a special place. From where I'm sitting, um, <laughs> back there. <laughs> what, what, it was 1949 back there? Uh, yes, yes. And where's 2004? Well, uh, 2004 is where, where I am now. And, and what about 2020? Oh, that's over there. If John can see numbers so clearly, it may indicate that the rest of us might possess skills we can't even comprehend.